Welcome back to our free series on working with addictive drums from Recording School Online. You can go to Recording School Online for much more advanced videos on mixing and advanced recording techniques. All right, continuing on, we've already showed you how to set up a kit, how to customize it, how to process it, how to get reverb on it, how to select beats and create a song. Let's take this a little further with the beats. Okay, we already know that we've got our favorites over in this folder. But what if we want a little more change in musicality in the playing? Wow. Is that possible? It is possible, and I'll show you how to do it. Let's say we have this kit, or this beat. And we're thinking, well, we're playing kind of a heavy tune. It would be nice if the drummer had played harder. How do we get the drummer to play harder? Well, unless we know him and we can call him on the phone and have him come in the studio, we can do it this way. Go to the velocity, intensity, bring it up. Pretty incredible. That means that once we set that and we then we drag our file to our recording program, we have the intensity changed and it will be exactly as we have it set. How cool is that? By the same token, we can soften it. However we set it before we drag it is how our MIDI intensity is going to be or velocity intensity in the MIDI data. We can also filter what is being sent in terms of what drums are being played. Uh, it's a velocity filter. It's a nifty little tool. Let's say we only want the drums in that range to be played. By setting that before we drag and drop, We've changed our MIDI file. Now, a couple of other things we want to look at here are, up here you see host. Generally, you, you want to make sure that the host, which is your recording software's tempo is going to match the drums. By clicking on this, I'm locking addictive drums to my host's tempo, which means that if I want to quantize anything such as my bass parts or other things, uh, anything that's MIDI, this will enable me to do that by locking to the host tempo. It's a very powerful and useful tool. You'll also see sync here. This essentially means that if I set that and I go back, every time I hit play, it'll start the drums. Now, if you're dragging and dropping, you may not need to do that. So what I tend to do most of the time for my music is just leave the tempo the same so that it'll match the tempo of what I'm going to add to the track in my recorder. Now that's the tempo I have set, but not the original tempo of the file. You can see the beats per minute over here, which in this case is 100. And it's different in my recorder. I hope this has been useful for you. This has been a quick start guide to actually getting the most out of addictive drums from Recording School Online. Again, we have tons of videos, advanced videos on mixing used by professionals all around the world. Come check us out at recordingschoolonline.com. Thank you.